Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So try to work out which surface this equation would produce. So press pause, press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, you have no idea what this looks like. So try to extract some clues from it. So hang on. So the minute you get given, the minute you get given this, um, let's let's put um, let's put let's put zero into the y. So put zero into the y, then then this whole thing here, this whole thing here will then become this x equals um, negative uh, z squared. So the minute you get given this, you should be able to draw this in your mind. Um, x, a graph of x versus z, and then it's a negative uh, quadratic. So it will look something like this. By the way, if, if I give you, if I give you, sketching this, it's like me giving you this to sketch y equals negative x squared. So that, so you can easily just sketch it like this, where this is y, this is x. If I give you this, um, x equals negative y squared, you can draw it like this, x and y, and then it will look something like this. So, so when when you when you get given this, you you can draw this in your mind. Okay, so so picture this in your mind here. So hang on, let me clear this up. Bear with me. Um, so um, so when you put zero into the y, when you put zero into the y, you've got to imagine a vertical sheet of paper being located at, well here the vertical sheet of paper is located at y equals 1, y equals 2, y equals 3, y equals negative 1, negative 2 and so on. So when you put 0 into the y, you're actually locating this vertical sheet of paper at y equals 0. So on this vertical sheet of paper, you've got to draw, you've got to draw this graph here. So if you look at this, this is your positive x, so that's, that's this positive x here. And then, uh, and then this is your uh, this is your positive z. So this is your positive z, and this thing here is your negative z. So you've got to transfer this graph onto this sheet of paper, this vertical sheet of paper. As it turns out, it will look like this. As it turns out, it will look like this. You're going to have a negative quadratic on this vertical sheet of paper, something like this. Um, so, so this is your this is your x in the y direction. So x in the y. Sorry, this is your x in the positive direction. So this is your x in the positive direction. And then you've got your negative quadratic. You've got your negative quadratic on this vertical sheet of paper. So the next step, hang on. The next step is to put um, zero into into the z. So put zero into the z. Then this whole thing here would then become this x equals negative y squared. So when you put zero into the into the z, you've got to imagine in your mind um, a, a horizontal sheet of paper. Hang on. You've got to imagine a horizontal sheet of paper. Bear with me. You've got to imagine a, a horizontal sheet of paper being located at z equals zero, which should be right here. And then on this uh, on this uh, sheet of paper, well, hang on. The minute you get given this, in your mind, draw this x versus y, and then it's a negative quadratic, so it will look something like this. So on this vertical sheet of paper, well, this is your positive x direction. This is your positive, and y. Well, on this sheet of paper, you've got to you've got to transfer this onto this sheet of paper. Well, this is your positive x, so and then your negative quadratic will look something like this on this sheet of paper, on this horizontal, on this horizontal sheet of paper will look something like this. So, um, so, so, so far it gives us a something looking like this. Now let's try and investigate. Let's let's try and hang on. So looking at the equation, looking at the equation, try to extract more clues. What would happen if you put a a, a positive number into here, let's say four. So let's let's try and put four. So four would be somewhere over here, somewhere over here. Um, so if you try and put four into here, um, four, this equation here would then become four equals negative y squared minus negative z squared. Um, you, you see, this will never be satisfied. You, you can never satisfy this, this equation because this is always going to be positive, and then you've got a negative here. This will always be positive. You've got a negative here. It will never equals four. That's why when when x equals when x equals four, you're going to have nothing. 
on on the on, on this side. So so it only happens on on this side, never on this side when x is positive. So let's let's try and extract more clues right there. Let's let's try and let's try and see what happens when you put a negative four into here. So that would be somewhere around here. Um, putting a negative four into here. Hang on, let, let me change this. Let's put negative two in here. Let's put negative two into here. So that would be somewhere around here. So that would be you having a a um, bear with me having a, a sheet of paper like this located at located at negative two. So on this sheet of paper here, hang on, let me clear this. Um, so on, 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 on this, well, if, if you put a negative two into here, it will look like this. Negative two equals negative y squared, take away z squared, um, times everything by negative one. So that will then give you this. Um, that will then give you, now the minute you see this, you, you know it's going to give you a circle. So, um, so as you, as you increase, um, as you head in, in the negative x direction, you're going to get lots of circles. You're going to get, I can't, I won't be able to draw this nicely, but you're going to get lots of circles as you, as you, um, as you increase, as you head towards the negative uh, x direction. You're going to get lots of circles, but bigger each time because the radius increases. So going back to, the, so, you, so you're really looking for something um, looking something like this with lots of circles. So going back to this thing here, which surface would this equation satisfy? Well, if you look around, you, you, you're looking for for a surface where where we where we satisfy all the conditions that we have described. As it turns out, it will be this one, this one. It will be this one here. Because you, you're going to get a negative quadratic here, a negative quadratic, and you're going to get lots of circles, and you've got nothingness in, in, on this side. So, so as it turns out, this equation will then give us this surface. Okay.